Back to Inside Marquette Basketball, I'm Dennis Krause. You know, few teams have captured the imagination of Wisconsin sports fans like the 1976-77 Marquette men's basketball team. Legendary coach Al McGuire finished his coaching career on top as Marquette claimed the national championship over Dean Smith's North Carolina Tar Heels. The Marquette community celebrated the 40th anniversary of this championship team at halftime of the game against Wisconsin. For fans who attend any Marquette home game, Big game today! There is no mistaking the impact the 1977 NCAA championship team has on the program. After all, the Golden Eagles play on Al McGuire Court. The number 77 hangs from the rafters. Forty seasons later, Marquette honors the team that brought home the school's only NCAA championship. This was a great place for me and a great experience, you know, uh, studying and playing basketball here at Marquette. Before the Marquette-Wisconsin game, Marquette fans were treated to something rare, a chance to meet with several members of that championship team as they gather back in Milwaukee. Thank you so much. It's the highlight of the season-long celebration of 100 years of basketball at Marquette. I'm uh, you know, honored to be a part of something that uh, people remember and uh, give me a chance to see some friends who I ran a lot of sprints with and sweated with, so it's, it's good to be here. The 77 team personified its coach, the legendary Al McGuire, winning the national championship in McGuire's final game at the Omni in Atlanta by knocking off Dean Smith's North Carolina Tar Heels. McGuire and the Warriors had been to the finals three years earlier, losing to North Carolina State. That 77 season had its challenges as Marquette entered the tournament with seven losses, five of them at home. When I came to Marquette, I came with the intentions of winning a national championship. The year before I got here, they were in the finals. They lost in the final game. And uh, I was really trying to prepare myself so we can win the national championship. So it was a great time and it was a dream come true, but that was my intention when I got here. The one person that wouldn't let us forget how good we were was Butch Lee. And Butch used to always say it. He like, we're the best team in the nation. And you know, that year we lost a couple of tire games in overtime, you know, one or two by one point. But Butch was the one that always would say, we're the best team in the nation. I don't care how many games we lost, we can beat anybody. Marquette's run through the tournament included a pair of nail biters against Kansas State and UNC Charlotte but they were able to put everything together for that one final win. We just had all the right components and and, uh, and, and Coach had a, a excellent game plan. And uh, we, we had the guard play, we had the big man play, we had the shooters. We just had everything that was in place and fell in place. The 77 team remains an unforgettable part of the legacy of Marquette basketball. The celebration in Milwaukee after the championship is something the players will never forget. Oh, when we came back from the championship, it was unbelievable. Uh, the one thing that I remember, when we got off the plane from the gate to get back to the uh, baggage claim, it took us almost an hour and a half to get through all of those people. And it was a single foul line. People were everywhere. It was one of the most memorable experiences that I had at Marquette. You know, besides the championship winning it, but the, the reception that we got coming back to Milwaukee, it was unbelievable. And people are still talking about it right today. Number 42, Bill Neary. At halftime, each player is presented with a framed jersey on the Al McGuire court, with more than 18,000 fans once again showing their appreciation. It's a moment they wish the entire team could be a part of. Kind of bittersweet because you know, all the coaching staff is gone. And then, you know, with, with Jerome and Rosie being gone, and Bernard has been a little sick in New York since the summer. You know, it's a little bittersweet, but you know, it's a, it's a wonderful thing, and it's good to uh, see everybody. We appreciated everybody, everyone that was uh, associated with the program, the coaches, the ex-players, and uh, we do have some of the family representing those guys, uh, but we, uh, we appreciate all those great times we had together, so uh, we're representing those guys also. Marquette has a proud basketball tradition, but only one team won the NCAA championship. It's a moment this university and these players will never forget. 40 years later, I'm talking to you, talking about the championship we won, and I wouldn't change it for nothing in the world.